Phase shift keying is a digital modulation scheme that conveys data by changing, or modulating, the phase of a reference signal. Any digital modulation scheme uses a finite number of distinct signals to represent digital data. PSK uses a finite number of phases, each assigned a unique pattern of binary digits. Usually, each phase encodes an equal number of bits. Each pattern of bits forms the symbol that is represented by the particular phase. The demodulator, which is designed specifically for the symbol set used by a modulator, determines the phase of the received signal and maps it back to the symbol it represents, thus recovering the original data. This requires the receiver to be able to compare the phase of the received signal to a reference signal a euro such a system is termed coherent. Alternatively, instead of operating with respect to a constant reference wave, the broadcast can operate with respect to itself. Changes in phase of a single broadcast waveform can be considered the significant items. In this system, the demodulator determines the changes in the phase of the received signal rather than the phase itself. Since this scheme depends on the difference between successive phases, it is termed differential phase shift keying. DPSK can be significantly simpler to implement than ordinary PSK since there is no need for the demodulator to have a copy of the reference signal to determine the exact phase of the received signal. In exchange, it produces more erroneous demodulation. Introduction there are three major classes of digital modulation techniques used for transmission of digitally represented data, amplitude shift keying, frequency shift keying, phase shift keying, all convey data by changing some aspect of a base signal, the carrier wave, in response to a data signal. In the case of PSK, the phase is changed to represent the data signal. There are two fundamental ways of utilizing the phase of a signal in this way by viewing the phase itself as conveying the information, in which case the demodulator must have a reference signal to compare the received signal's phase against. Or, by viewing the change in the phase as conveying information a euro differential schemes, some of which do not need a reference carrier. A convenient way to represent PSK schemes is on a constellation diagram. This shows the points in the complex plane where, in this context, the real and imaginary axes are termed the in-phase and quadrature axes respectively due to their 90-degree separation. Such a representation on perpendicular axes lends itself to straightforward implementation. The amplitude of each point along the in-phase axis is used to modulate a cosine wave and the amplitude along the quadrature axis to modulate a sine wave. In PSK, the constellation points chosen are usually positioned with uniform angular spacing around a circle. This gives maximum phase separation between adjacent points and thus the best immunity to corruption. They are positioned on a circle so that they can all be transmitted with the same energy. In this way, the moduli of the complex numbers they represent will be the same and thus so will the amplitudes needed for the cosine and sine waves. Two common examples are binary phase shift keying, which uses two phases, and quadrature phase shift keying, which uses four phases although any number of phases may be used. Since the data to be conveyed are usually binary, the PSK scheme is usually designed with a number of constellation points being a power of two. Definitions For determining error rates mathematically, some definitions will be needed, equals energy per bit, equals energy per symbol equals with n bits per symbol, equals bit duration, equals symbol duration, equals noise power spectral density, equals probability of bit error, equals probability of symbol error, will give the probability that a single sample taken from a random process with zero mean and unit variance Gaussian probability density function will be greater or equal to. It is a scaled form of the complementary Gaussian error function. The error rates quoted here are those in additive white Gaussian noise. These error rates are lower than those computed in fading channels, hence, are a good theoretical benchmark to compare with. Applications, owing to PSK's simplicity, particularly when compared with its competitor quadrature amplitude modulation, it is widely used in existing technologies. The wireless LAN standard, IEEE 802.11B 1999, uses a variety of different PSKs depending on the data rate required. At the basic rate of 1 bit S, it uses dBPSK. 
to provide the extended rate of Mbit s, dqpsk is used. In reaching 5.5 Mbit s and the full rate of 11 Mbit s, qpsk is employed, but has to be coupled with complementary code keying. The higher speed wireless LAN standard, IEEE 802.11G 2003, has eight data rates, 6, 9, 12, 18, 24, 36, 48 and 54 Mbit S. The 6 and 9 Mbit S modes use OFDM modulation where each subcarrier is BPSK modulated. The 12 and 18 Mbit S modes use OFDM with QPSK. The fastest four modes use OFDM with forms of quadrature amplitude modulation. Because of its simplicity BPSK is appropriate for low-cost passive transmitters, and is used in RFID standards such as ISOIEC 14443 which has been adopted for biometric passports, credit cards such as American Express's Express Pay, and many other applications. Bluetooth 2 will use DQPSK at its lower rate and 8 DPSK at its higher rate when the link between the two devices is sufficiently robust. Bluetooth 1 modulates with Gaussian minimum shift keying, a binary scheme, so either modulation choice in version 2 will yield a higher data rate. A similar technology, IEEE 802.15.4 also relies on PSK. IEEE 802.15.4 allows the use of two frequency bands, 868 a euro 915MHz using BPSK and at 2.4GHz using OQPSK. Notably absent from these various schemes is 8PSK. This is because its error rate performance is close to that of 16 QAM a euro it is only about 0.5 decibels better a euro, but its data rate is only three quarters that of 16 QAM. Thus 8 PSK is often omitted from standards and, as seen above, schemes tend to jump from QPSK to 16 QAM. Included among the exceptions is HughesNet Satellite ISP. For example, the model HN7000S modem uses 8PSK modulation. Binary phase shift keying. BPSK is the simplest form of phase shift keying. It uses two phases which are separated by 180 a degree and so can also be termed UPSK. It does not particularly matter exactly where the constellation points are positioned, and in this figure they are shown on the real axis, at 0 a degree and 180 a degree. This modulation is the most robust of all the PSKs since it takes the highest level of noise or distortion to make the demodulator reach an incorrect decision. It is, however, only able to modulate at one bit symbol and so is unsuitable for high data rate applications. In the presence of an arbitrary phase shift introduced by the communications channel, the demodulator is unable to tell which constellation point is which. As a result, the data is often differentially encoded prior to modulation. BPSK is functionally equivalent to 2QAM modulation. Implementation The general form for BPSK follows the equation. This yields two phases, 0 and I0. In the specific form, binary data is often conveyed with the following signals for binary 0, for binary 1, where FC is the frequency of the carrier wave. Hence, the signal space can be represented by the single basis function. Where 1 is represented by and 0 is represented by. This assignment is, of course, arbitrary. This use of this basis function is shown at the end of the next section in a signal timing diagram. The topmost signal is a BPSK modulated cosine wave that the BPSK modulator would produce. The bit stream that causes this output is shown above the signal. Bit error rate, the bit error rate of BPSK and AWGN can be calculated as, or, since there is only one bit per symbol, this is also the symbol error rate. Quadrature phase shift keying. Sometimes this is known as quadriphase PSK, 4PSK, or 4QAM. QPSK uses four points on the constellation diagram, a quiz based around a circle. With four phases, QPSK can encode two bits per symbol, shown in the diagram with gray coding to minimize the bit error rate a euro sometimes misperceived as twice the BER of BPSK. 
the mathematical analysis shows that QPSK can be used either to double the data rate compared with the BPSK system while maintaining the same bandwidth of the signal, or to maintain the data rate of BPSK but halving the bandwidth needed. In this latter case, the BER of QPSK is exactly the same as the BER of BPSK, and deciding differently is a common confusion when considering or describing QPSK. The transmitted carrier can undergo numbers of phase changes. Given that radio communication channels are allocated by agencies such as the Federal Communication Commission giving a prescribed bandwidth, the advantage of QPSK over BPSK becomes evident. QPSK transmits twice the data rate in a given bandwidth compared to BPSK, at the same BER. The engineering penalty that is paid is that QPSK transmitters and receivers are more complicated than the ones for BPSK. However, with modern electronics technology, the penalty and cost is very moderate. As with BPSK, there are phase ambiguity problems at the receiving end, and differentially encoded QPSK is often used in practice. Implementation the implementation of QPSK is more general than that of BPSK and also indicates the implementation of higher-order PSK. Writing the symbols in the constellation diagram in terms of the sine and cosine waves used to transmit them. This yields the four phases I euro slash 4, 3 I euro slash 4, 5 I euro slash 4 and 7 I euro slash 4 as needed. This results in a two-dimensional signal space with unit basis functions. The first basis function is used as the in-phase component of the signal and the second is the quadrature component of the signal. Hence, the signal constellation consists of the signal space four points. The factors of one half indicate that the total power is split equally between the two carriers. Comparing these basis functions with that for BPSK shows clearly how QPSK can be viewed as two independent BPSK signals. Note that the signal space points for BPSK do not need to split the symbol energy over the two carriers in the scheme shown in the BPSK constellation diagram. QPSK systems can be implemented in a number of ways. An illustration of the major components of the transmitter and receiver structure are shown below. Bit error rate, although QPSK can be viewed as a quaternary modulation, it is easier to see it as two independently modulated quadrature carriers. With this interpretation, the even bits are used to modulate the in-phase component of the carrier, while the odd bits are used to modulate the quadrature phase component of the carrier. BPSK is used on both carriers and they can be independently demodulated. As a result, the probability of bit error for QPSK is the same as for BPSK. However, in order to achieve the same bit error probability as BPSK, QPSK uses twice the power. The symbol error rate is given by, if the signal to noise ratio is high the probability of symbol error may be approximated. The binary data that is conveyed by this waveform is, 11000110. The odd bits, highlighted here, contribute to the in-phase component, 11000110. The even bits, highlighted here, contribute to the quadrature phase component, 11000110. Variants, offset QPSK. Offset quadrature phase shift keying is a variant of phase shift keying modulation using four different values of the phase to transmit. It is sometimes called staggered quadrature phase shift keying. Taking four values of the phase at a time to construct a QPSK symbol can allow the phase of the signal to jump by as much as 180 a degree at a time. When the signal is low pass filtered, these phase shifts result in large amplitude fluctuations, an undesirable quality in communication systems. By offsetting the timing of the odd and even bits by one bit period, or half a symbol period, the in-phase and quadrature components will never change at the same time. In the constellation diagram shown on the right, it can be seen that this will limit the phase shift to no more than 90 a degree at a time. This yields much lower amplitude fluctuations than non-offset QPSK and is sometimes preferred in practice. The picture on the right showed the difference in the behavior of the phase between ordinary QPSK and OQPSK. It can be seen that in the first plot the phase can change by 180 a degree at once, 
while in OQPSK the changes are never greater than 90 a degree. The modulated signal is shown below for a short segment of a random binary data stream. Note the half symbol period offset between the two component waves. The sudden phase shifts occur about twice as often as for QPSK, but they are less severe. In other words, the magnitude of jumps is smaller in OQPSK when compared to QPSK. I Euro slash 4 Euro QPSK. This variant of QPSK uses two identical constellations which are rotated by 45 a degree with respect to one another. Usually either the even or odd symbols are used to select points from one of the constellations and the other symbols select points from the other constellation. This also reduces the phase shifts from a maximum of 180 a degree, but only to a maximum of 135 a degree and so the amplitude fluctuations of a Euro QPSK are between OQPSK and non-offset QPSK. One property this modulation scheme possesses is that if the modulated signal is represented in the complex domain, it does not have any path through the origin. In other words, the signal does not pass through the origin. This lowers the dynamical range of fluctuations in the signal which is desirable when engineering communications signals. On the other hand, a Euro QPSK lends itself to easy demodulation and has been adopted for use in, for example, TDMA cellular telephone systems. The modulated signal is shown below for a short segment of a random binary data stream. The construction is the same as above for ordinary QPSK. Successive symbols are taken from the two constellations shown in the diagram. Thus, the first symbol is taken from the blue constellation and the second symbol is taken from the green constellation. Note that magnitudes of the two component waves change as they switch between constellations, but the total signal's magnitude remains constant. The phase shifts are between those of the two previous timing diagrams. SOQPSK, the license-free shaped offset QPSK is interoperable with FAIR patented QPSK, in the sense that an integrate and dump offset QPSK detector produces the same output no matter which kind of transmitter is used. These modulations carefully shape the I and Q waveform such that they change very smoothly, and the signal stays constant amplitude even during signal transitions. The standard description of SOQPSK TG involves ternary symbols. DPQPSK, dual polarization quadrature phase shift keying or dual polarization QPSK, involves the polarization multiplexing of two different QPSK signals thus improving the spectral efficiency by a factor of two. This is a cost-effective alternative, to utilizing 16 PSK instead of QPSK to double the spectral efficiency. Higher order PSK. Any number of phases may be used to construct a PSK constellation but 8 PSK is usually the highest order PSK constellation deployed. With more than 8 phases, the error rate becomes too high and there are better, though more complex modulations available such as quadrature amplitude modulation. Although any number of phases may be used, the fact that the constellation must usually deal with binary data means that the number of symbols is usually a power of 2 a euro this allows an equal number of bits per symbol. Bit error rate, for the general PSK there is no simple expression for the symbol error probability if. Unfortunately, it can only be obtained from. Where, and and are jointly Gaussian random variables. This may be approximated for high and high by. The bit error probability for PSK can only be determined exactly once the bit mapping is known. However, when gray coding is used, the most probable error from one symbol to the next produces only a single bit error and. Using gray coding allows us to approximate the lead distance of the errors as the Hamming distance of the errors in the decoded bitstream which is easier to implement in hardware. The graph on the left compares the bit error rates of BPSK, QPSK, 8PSK and 16PSK. It is seen that higher order modulations exhibit higher error rates. In exchange however they deliver a higher raw data rate. Bounds on the error rates of various digital modulation schemes can be computed with application of the union bound to the signal constellation. Differential phase shift keying, differential encoding. 
Differential phase shift keying is a common form of phase modulation that conveys data by changing the phase of the carrier wave. As mentioned for BPSK and QPSK there is an ambiguity of phase if the constellation is rotated by some effect in the communications channel through which the signal passes. This problem can be overcome by using the data to change rather than set the phase. For example, in differentially encoded BPSK a binary 1 may be transmitted by adding 180 a degree to the current phase and a binary 0 by adding 0 a degree to the current phase. Another variant of DPSK is symmetric differential phase shift keying, SDPSK, where encoding would be plus 90 a degree for a 1 and minus 90 a degree for a 0. In differentially encoded QPSK, the phase shifts are 0 a degree, 90 a degree, 180 a degree, minus 90 a degree corresponding to data 00, 01, 11, 10. This kind of encoding may be demodulated in the same way as for non-differential PSK but the phase ambiguities can be ignored. Thus, each received symbol is demodulated to one of the points in the constellation and a comparator then computes the difference in phase between this received signal and the preceding one. The difference encodes the data as described above. Symmetric differential quadrature phase shift keying is like DQPSK, but encoding is symmetric using phase shift values of minus 135 a degree, minus 45 a degree, plus 45 a degree and plus 135 a degree. The modulated signal is shown below for both DBPSK and DQPSK as described above. In the figure, it is assumed that the signal starts with zero phase, and so there is a phase shift in both signals at Analysis shows that differential encoding approximately doubles the error rate compared to ordinary PSK but this may be overcome by only a small increase in. Furthermore, this analysis are based on a system in which the only corruption is additive white Gaussian noise, AWGN. However, there will also be a physical channel between the transmitter and receiver in the communication system. This channel will, in general, introduce an unknown phase shift to the PSK signal. In these cases the differential schemes can yield a better error rate than the ordinary schemes which rely on precise phase information. Demodulation For a signal that has been differentially encoded, there is an obvious alternative method of demodulation. Instead of demodulating as usual and ignoring carrier phase ambiguity, the phase between two successive received symbols is compared and used to determine what the data must have been. When differential encoding is used in this manner, the scheme is known as differential phase shift keying. Note that this is subtly different from just differentially encoded PSK since, upon reception, the received symbols are not decoded one by one to constellation points but are instead compared directly to one another. Call the received symbol in the th time slot and let it have phase. Assume without loss of generality that the phase of the carrier wave is zero. Denote the AWGN term as. Then. The decision variable for the th symbol in the th symbol is the phase difference between and. That is, if as projected onto, the decision is taken on the phase of the resultant complex number. Where superscript denotes complex conjugation. In the absence of noise, the phase of this is, the phase shift between the two received signals which can be used to determine the data transmitted. The probability of error for DPSK is difficult to calculate in general, but, in the case of DBPSK it is. Which, when numerically evaluated, is only slightly worse than ordinary BPSK, particularly at higher values. Using DPSK avoids the need for possibly complex carrier recovery schemes to provide an accurate phase estimate and can be an attractive alternative to ordinary PSK. In optical communications, the data can be modulated onto the phase of a laser in a differential way. The modulation is a laser which emits a continuous wave, and a maxine demodulator which receives electrical binary data. For the case of BPSK for example, the laser transmits the field unchanged for binary 1, and with reverse polarity for 0. The demodulator consists of a delay line interferometer which delays 1 bit, so 2 bits can be compared at one time. In further processing, a photodiode is used to transform the optical field into an electric current, 
so the information is changed back into its original state. The bit error rates of dbpsk and eqpsk are compared to their non-differential counterparts in the graph to the right. The loss for using dbpsk is small enough compared to the complexity reduction that it is often used in communication systems that would otherwise use bpsk. For dqpsk though, the loss in performance compared to ordinary qpsk is larger and the system designer must balance this against the reduction in complexity. Example differentially encoded BPSK. At the time slot call the bit to be modulated, the differentially encoded bit and the resulting modulated signal. Assume that the constellation diagram positions the symbols at A plus or minus 1. The differential encoder produces where indicates binary or modulo 2 addition. So only changes state if is a binary 1. Otherwise it remains in its previous state. This is the description of differentially encoded BPSK given above. The received signal is demodulated to yield A plus or minus 1 and then the differential decoder reverses the encoding procedure and produces, since binary subtraction is the same as binary addition. Therefore, if and if are and if they are the same. Hence, if both and are inverted, will still be decoded correctly. Thus, the 180 degree phase ambiguity does not matter. Differential schemes for other PSK modulations may be devised along similar lines. The waveforms for DPSK are the same as for differentially encoded PSK given above since the only change between the two schemes is at the receiver. The BER curve for this example is compared to ordinary BPSK on the right. As mentioned above, whilst the error rate is approximately doubled, the increase needed in to overcome this is small. The increase in required to overcome differential modulation in coded systems, however, is larger, typically about 3 a decibel. The performance degradation is a result of non-coherent transmission, in this case it refers to the fact that tracking of the phase is completely ignored. Channel capacity. Like all MR modulation schemes with M equals 2B symbols, when given exclusive access to a fixed bandwidth, the channel capacity of any phase shift keying modulation scheme rises to a maximum of B bits per symbol as the signal to noise ratio increases. See also, differential coding, modulation a euro for an overview of all modulation schemes, phase modulation a euro the analog equivalent of PSK, polar modulation, PSK31, PSK63, binary offset carrier modulation, Notes. References. The notation and theoretical results in this article are based on material presented in the following sources Proacus, John G. Digital Communications. Singapore, McGraw Hill. ISBN A 0 07 113814 5. Couch, Leon W. 2. Digital and Analog Communications. Upper Saddle River, New Jersey, Prentice Hall. ISBN A 0 13 081223 4. Haken, Simon. Digital Communications. Toronto, Canada, John Wiley and Sons. ISBN A 0 471 62947 2A.